Hi friends, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot, and today I'm going to do a video on what five things should you never do as a tarot reader. Okay, ready. Number one, never provide legal, financial, medical, or psychological advice that you are not qualified to provide. If you're a lawyer who reads tarot, then feel free to provide legal advice. Um, if you are a doctor or a psychologist, feel free to provide medical or psychological advice. But honestly, most of us are not um, lawyers, accountants, medical, medical doctors, or psychologists. And um, if you give that kind of advice and a person comes to harm, of course, you can be held liable or possibly be held liable. I don't think it's anything that uh, you should risk or that I should risk. All right. So there is number one. All right. Ready? Number two. Never predict an inevitable future. What do I mean by that? The future isn't carved in stone. Tarot reads the energy at the time of the reading. So, if things remain headed in the direction that they're heading when, the when you give the reading, then you can pretty accurately tell what's going to happen in the future by reading the cards. However, keep in mind that everyone has the ability to change their future by changing their belief system, by changing their behaviors, and not only that, but someone else involved with that person can change the future by also changing some of their behaviors. So we can tell what's likely to happen if things continue going in the same direction that they're going, but we can never predict an inevitable future that's carved in stone because there's no such thing. All right. All right. So some of you might argue with me, but I'm right. I, I really am. Okay. Number three, do not attempt to predict winning lottery numbers or the results of horse races or games of chance. This is what a lot of people, skeptics, all believe in tarot reading if you tell me what the winning lottery numbers are. Guys, it doesn't work that way. Spirit does not work that way. Um, I don't know what more to say about it than that. It just doesn't work that way. Okay? There's not there's not a way to cheat at that that I know of. And tarot reading certainly isn't the way. All right. Number 4. Do not interpret any reading as a representation of death or illness. And you might say, "Well, I got the death card. Why not?" Um, I got the death and the tower and the devil and all the cards that, you know, predict bad things. Okay, guys, here's the thing. Tarot is meant to be a tool that is uplifting, that is empowering to the client. And again, since there is no future that is carved in stone, you cannot, with reasonable accuracy, Tell a person they're going to die after you read their tarot cards. And even if you think they are, it's just not ethical to tell them that. That would be horrifying. I, I, I think it would basically be horrifying. I um, know a man whose tarot reader told him that he was going to break his leg. He never broke his leg. All right, so this is a thing just... You may see something that you are convinced um, means that the person is going to get cancer or the person is going to come to some other bad fate. Now, if you see something wrong in their body, say, suggest kindly that they need to see a doctor, okay? Anytime you think there's a medical issue, recommend that they see their doctor, but again, um, their tarot reader is not the person to diagnose their medical problems. All right, number five. 
Never betray the confidentiality of your reader-client interactions. It's kind of like doctor-patient confidentiality. It's kind of like um, a priest at the confessional confidentiality. You should never be repeating anything about your client's business to anyone else because word will get around that you do that and you will not um, you will definitely lose business over that and it's just not the right thing to do these are my five things that you should never do um, there are more that you should really not do also but I think these are the main five um, if you disagree with me or if you have more that you think are equally important or more important, then please comment in the comment section below. I just want you to know that um, when I became a certified Biddy Tarot reader, we had to come up with our own code of ethics. ethics. Um, so another point is um, that you need to think about is, are you going to do readings for children? And some readers do, some readers don't. I personally do not do tarot readers for children under the age of 16 because I find that children are so um, trusting and believing in adults much of the time and that if you tell them something they're not going to realize that they have the ability to change their future and they might it it might end up being a self-fulfilling prophecy I mean there are some adults like that too but I think children are much more susceptible to it so anyway that's another one if I had number six that's what I would say but that of course is up to you so anyway I'll be interested in, in finding out what you think about this um, I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a, the video a thumbs up if you uh, would like to subscribe to my channel that would be terrific it's perfectly free for you I have lots of different content that you might be interested in about tarot and divination and um, like I said, it costs you nothing. So I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.